all right so what is going on today youtube now i told you guys um i don't know i believe it was in a comment somebody asked me make the deck expensive but let's see what you can do and um pretty much the resorts are fantastic if you if you make this deck expensive you don't have a budget um i tried to bring fusions but it didn't didn't really mesh well um but <laughs> what was i saying uh, yeah man if you put the necessary money into this deck you can definitely be the, the deck is completely way better than it usually is because the fact of with zombies you, it takes you a couple of turns to set up it also you know it, you leave you leave yourself wide open most of the time unless you want to go like the bills route but then if you summon bills you have a chance to get banished because they back to the deck there's always something that happens to your bills when you drop it um but most of the, most of the time you want to go omega but the problem I ran ran into with when I'm playing zombies is that if I play a meta deck and they have Ash, I lose. But <clears throat> with the addition of um, what's the names in your deck with hand traps in your deck, it becomes a lot, a lot better because now you're solitaire into a, a, a solitaire. You use the effect of solitaire, as you can see here, and as you can see, I have a gamma. So right now, let's say he ashes, I can chain gamma. So that's two omegas, and I got a card out of your hand. Like, and that was just for nothing. I got, I literally got a card out of your hand and now Omega's gonna rip two more cards out of your hand and it's gonna put back a Mizuki. So yeah, this is what hand traps could do for the deck. It gives you that extra ounce of defense that you don't have to play traps. So not only can you interact on your opponent's turn, you can interact on your turn because you have Gamma. So like if they have a Maxi or they have an Ash Blossom or a DD Crow or a Drone Lockbird or something like that, whatever can stop you, you have the Gamma to stop that. And that's really what's crucial nowadays because everybody is playing hand traps and this is probably one of the only ways to stop a hand trap on your turn. There's no spell card I believe that does it. Obviously you can't activate traps on your first turn. And um, yeah, there's just not really too many options to stop hand traps. And that's what's really plaguing the game right now is that everybody's playing 10 hand traps. But as you can see, it's a good and a bad thing. The good thing because every deck can top, all you need to do is play these 10 hand traps. But then it's a bad thing because everybody's playing 10 hand traps and that's pretty much the basis of your deck. Is you start off with 10 hand traps and then you build your deck around it and then go from there. But we're gonna get into some replays. So as you can see, I started off with the young um, solitaire play going to go into Omega with a mistake set so if we play against spirals we play against any of the top decks it's completely over trickstar life stage gets wrecked anything's but no we're playing up against some uh what's name cyber dragons but we do have the mistake for the galaxy soldier goes into a queen for a dream which i don't agree with i, I really don't understand why he did that i definitely would have won infinity brought something back and we, we probably would have beat me but <laughs> he did not do that so i'm going to put back the turtle and now like i said it's just slim pickings even if he does go infinity it doesn't hurt me because we do have the gamma we just negate whenever he decides he wants to you know negate something like that so now we're going to go scarlight art scarlight to blow his board and summon goblin zombie which you know you can take out of the deck i like i said i was just testing um every time i drew this i drew this so it was kind of bad but you know <clears throat> we win from there and on game two as you can see i don't open up the greatest but i do open up an ash blossom and like i said hand traps let you interact with your opponent on their turn um, and that really what stopped a lot of his plays the fact that I hit him with the um, the ash blossom it stopped everything he was about to do so now I can dark hole freely he's going to chain the cyber uh, cyber network which is not going to work we're going to foolish and then since we have a soul charge you guys can know where we're going and we also have strike and escape gold set so not only are we protected from dying um, with our life points we can also solemn strike something which is good set up for next turn with the spectrosaur because we're definitely getting omegas omegas coming off the field one way or another so here we go he's going to change the cyber ne network again get rid of the soul charge and i believe that's what really got me the game is the fact that i got rid of that soul charge and so now he's going to go into another galaxy soldier to search another one and then i'm going to just solemn strike this and in phase scapegoat but he quits so yeah we get the victory because of the hand trap and as you can see, we didn't, once again, every time we draw a Goblin Zombie, we got the mistake. So <clears throat> I opted not to set the mistake with the Goblin Zombie because I felt like it was going to, you know, basically they're going to force me to trigger the mistake and then I'm going to be forced to lose this Goblin Zombie. So here, once again, if I would have set mistake, I would have been forced to use it on the Loonlight Perfume. But gladly, he does not get to OTK me. I saw the morning this thinking there's no way for him to get it back out. But sadly, I was wrong. He goes into a Leo Dancer. 
well, that's completely fine because I do have this evenly matched in my hand uh, and I solitaire so now we just this once again man evenly matched is just really really unfair that card definitely should be in your side deck I would not main it it's not it's not really good in the main deck um, but as you can see here now I can just go off and you know beat my opponent from here because he doesn't have any back row he set basically everything and um, what what can he do he can't really do anything and I set mistake just in case he decides he wants to draw any type of card that you know adds to his hand and we draw the gamma so if we run into a torrential we're fine if we run into a um yeah torrential if he has a regeki that's completely fine we have the gamma for a monster that he decides that he wants to you know play on the board because you know loon lights all use monsters and once again um we didn't really use a hand trap but we use evenly matched and that was pretty much it and so on with the second duel as you can see we open up another hand trap and that's just it's just it's no way for him to win because now we put him at he's at such a disadvantage because if he has a hand trap of his own sure we can't do it we can't do it i mean if he has a hand trap at home we have the gamma to stop it now i'm just gonna go black rose and then i'm just gonna mizuki the gozuki back and this which is i i have so much protection so i can just do whatever play i want and that's what's real really good about hand traps in this deck the fact that you have that extra layer of protection is just so good. So here, <clears throat> activate Solitaire and we get Ash Blossom. So I'm thinking, oh damn it, here it goes again. But I did draw a mistake. So bam, he activate Terraform. I'm like, yeah, let's go. We got the mistake ready for you. Draw into an Ash Blossom. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just in the driver's seat. We're drawing probably 200 miles right now. We're just getting faster and faster every time we turn. He tops like a Blackwing go for. I'm like, oh no. It, now that's where I get beat, but he goes into that. I thought he was going to go into an Ingrisu and just go off from there, but he does not. So he leaves me with a Mizuki and a Solitaire. So you guys know what's going on here. Going to go into that. And since I feel so protected by the mistake in the Ash Blossom, I can go into an Omega. Now, in, usually in other cases, you would have to go into something to attack over this because the summoning with the summoning an Omega does, I mean, it doesn't help you out. Um, he kind of bails me out by going into a soul charge. I'm like, okay, so and it, find, and it turns out we are playing spirals and he's pretty much waiting for this mistake to get over, but um, he can't get over the mistake, but it doesn't matter for us because we don't really search besides Goblin Zombie and bam, we can just black rose the field. And like I said, he had a Regeki, he had a Rota. He was just ready to, for us to go off. And now set up for next turn because all three Mizuki's advantage and we're going to set a mistake again so if he types like a terraforming that doesn't do anything type the quick fix that doesn't do anything we're just in the business and so with this hand it's kind of bad but struggling i mean evenly matches in our hand so we're good and he doesn't do anything so that's surprising so we're going to just set our two traps and let's see if he can do nothing he doesn't do anything we're going to normal something this mizuki hit him with 17 um and we're going to end our turn once again give him a trap i mean give him a chance uh, and he doesn't have anything either and this is the problem with hand traps is sometimes you can draw too many and you can't play but that's the risk you take because more likely than not your opponents activate something so now he goes one for one discarding ghost Stoker, and bam flip the mistake and like i told you every time i flip mistake against spirals i win and it looking like that way in there so <clears throat> again so what i'm going to do is set the second mistake because i'm pretty sure He's going to be trying to get rid of the mistake off my board. Go soul charge for one. Um, so I'm like, all right, well, I can definitely attack over this with Deco Talker, but I make a big mistake. What I do is I don't have enough for Deco Talker to be 3300. So now we have to stall, 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 wait for him to do something. He activates the Spiral Mission Assault, which is like, oh, God damn it. So he's going to activate that, and I'm going to Deco Talker to negate it. And the reason why I did that is because I want him to waste enough, um, as much resources as he can trying to get rid of that mistake so I can flip the other one and his, his, his morale can just go straight in the toilet. So as you can see, I have Dark Hole, I have an Ash Blossom, I have Evenly Match, and bam, I get hit with an Ash Blossom, but we have a strike because he didn't do nothing for like five turns. And so here, we can just set up now, um, send them, what's the name, go Tornado Dragon. And Tornado Dragon is very good against Spirals because if you can get rid of their field card, you can start getting rid of the rest of their stuff because now you can target. So here he goes, he goes into another Gaia Saber, which is fine. Then he activates Super Agent, and I change Tornado Dragon to pop the Assault because 
just in case you know he tries to do something smart and then Deco talker for some reason didn't want me to negate so i'm like okay that's stupid then he goes for the quick fix again and there you go that is where the mistake comes in because like i said he did everything he can in his power to get rid of this mistake and i just flip another one and since we have dark hole we're just we're just fine we're gonna just dark hole get rid of everything on the board and yeah that's pretty much it for him because we're going to attack for game right now so once again man mistake against spirals are just really is really good and here we go i believe we're playing up against um abyss actors which is you know not the you know greatest deck to be playing up against but as you can see we opened up this perfect hand this is what you want to draw in this deck that i built because you have offense and defense you have the best defense in the game right now because of every deck search and you have an ash blossom which is uh which is just it's just as good as mistake and you also have an omega in in rotation and then gozuki's are earth so this mrs rating is just really good um but i decided to go tornado dragon because i don't like to win so you know sometimes i like to you know just let my opponent live and that's what happened right here live leave him with 200 i'm like oh no not this again but the fact that we have a scapegoat and we can go into pretty pretty much two level fours uh, we know we can go into a, a rank four and two level. I mean and a level eight So that's just amazing and we get to recycle the Mizuki's back and the fact that we have the ash and a mistake set I don't think there's anything he can really do and we have a MST on his turn. So yeah That's pretty much the name of the game as of right now is to just basically interact with your opponent on their turn like if I mean on, like to interact with your opponent on their turn like yeah, the, I said it right the first time. Um, evenly matched once again. It's just, is just why, why, why Konami? Why would you make something like that? But hey, you got it, so you got to use it. But like I said once again, I definitely would main it. It'd definitely be the side deck tech. Um, you can just play, probably play other traps like Mirror Forces or something. Mirror Force is very good because a lot of people don't suspect it, and you know they don't really target back row really too much, but. You know, sometimes they do. But here we go, once again, starting off with the uh, Mrs. Radiant play. We're going to Soul Charge back to Gozuki, and we're going to dump the Spirit Master. So we can just get rid of this and set the mistake and just... Um, actually, I don't think I do set mistake. Yeah, just keep it like this, because if he gets rid of this, we get a Gozuki back. Um, if he gets rid of this, we get the um, Spirit Master back. I, we're, just, we're just completely fine. And here, as you can see, we have opened up just just absolutely bonkers we have uh, evenly matched ash blossom and a maxi so and uh, i believe he was playing what 10 cards yeah he's playing 60 cards so like i'm like yeah we're, we're definitely going to be able to do something so here he sets four back row so i'm like mm, let's see what we can do here so i'll send mizuki so i can get back the tuner which is like i said man is another bonus of ash blossom the fact that it's a zombie um try to black rose his field but he's having none of that so he sends his number, send number some fist, but he can't use it because he's banished every single one of them. And uh, like like Dwayne McFadden would tell you, um, <clears throat> I don't know why I called him by his whole name. Like that was that was weird. But like Dwayne would tell you, pot of pot of the, the badness or like pot of I forgot what he said. He said something like it's, he he does not like desires, and I can see why. Like if you're if you're playing in such a niche deck that you need every single card, he is playing sixty, so that was a bit unfortunate. But he, he's playing into the maxi, but yeah, like I said, man, Pot of Desire, he does not like Pot of Desires. <laughs> and it's, it's, he always says every time I play it, he's like, man, you just went back the same route, huh? And I was like, yeah, man, I just, I just always feel like I need to play that card. But <clears throat> as you can see, he plays into the maxi, and then here is where, like I said, man, Gamma is just, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get one hand trap, if you can't get, I mean, this is $210 for half, for half the price. Um, you can get triple gamma in this car i mean i don't know what it's at now but the last time i checked it was 30. so even under half price i mean like you get even a bigger discount you can get these gammas and look at this situation is perfect for gamma i don't control any monsters i can activate dark hole chain gamma i can summon solitaire chain gamma i can like there's so many different situations where i can chain gamma and it's it's just so fun like i can chain gamma and then like chain gamma like it's just it's just so, so so amazing so here i'm just trying to bait out the uh, what's the name i'm trying to bait out the tree toad but he doesn't want to do it so i go into a baguska and then i dark hole because once again i have gamma and then once his stuff activates in the grave 
you know what I can do? I can Gamma. So I get a free Omega for no reason. And I have two more Omegas sitting in my hand. Um, and then now I can just set evenly match and escape goal, but I do get hit with a heavy dust I mean heavy storm duster and I'm thinking maybe he can come back Absolutely not. He can come he can't come back because I have these gamma sitting in my hand. There's nothing he can really do so Goes into a tree toad. I get back my Omega once again. I'm trying to bait out the tree toad I'm trying to see what he's going to be able to do but he does not negate my Gozuki. So I'm like, I mean, Mizuki. So I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm just gonna attack over the Cheat Toad. You're gonna force to get back something stupid. And I'm gonna attack over that main, and then main phase two, we can just drop, uh, what's the name? We can just go into another Omega, banish the two cards out of your hand. And um, yeah, man, we're just gonna be left with, uh, actually, we're gonna be left with, um, we're gonna be left with a Tornado Dragon um, with an evenly matched set. So if you find a way to get over Tornado Dragon, I still have these gammas sitting in my hand. And man this is it's just ne it's a necessary evil you need to play so he ends up going sky cavalry but you know he can't really do anything because we're going to go into our deco talker and you guys already know what spectral sword can do i really love this card man i really wish it wasn't it was like value it would be so much better but yeah man we put the things on him thanks to gamma and that's really the importance of hand traps uh, especially in this deck so <clears throat> game two doesn't start off too good i don't start off too good but i try to bait him into a what's the name but he doesn't fall for he doesn't chain anything so uh he activates his uh, reckless greed and i uh try to ask boss him in and he uses um strike to stop it which is possibly a good move he needs to get out of something he activates spell fragrance anti-spell fragrance i'm like you know what that's completely fine i don't know why people side this against me i play like eight trap i mean eight spells but i guess and as you can see i'm just stacking hand traps now it's just it's just i'm like okay here we go we're gonna go into tornado dragon the actually floodgate trap hole which is not the greatest card of all time uh like i said man don't really like a trap is just not is not as good as it used to be so now what i'm going to do is dark hole because i'm thinking that's a dupe frog but sadly it's not it's not a dupe frog so i can't really do nothing now i'm going to attack into a mizuki i mean attack with a mizuki change the hall hallucinogena and has my attack so he goes and i believe he hey summons nimble sun sunfish i'm going to maxi again because he just he wants to get it off and yeah, I can't blame him, and what he's going to do is going to keep playing. He's going to go all four into a, what's the name? He should have just, I just, I don't agree with that. I just don't understand why he did that. But, hey, man, he's got to get where he got to go. And we're going to know some unit zombie. He's going to Black Rose. And, yeah, that was pretty much it. So, yeah, folks, that was my deck. Um, no, no, not, no, that was the duels. This is my deck that I played. Like I said, I was just testing. I just threw in, you know, threw in as much, I mean, threw in it hand traps and evenly matches and just said let's see what happens and yeah that was the result man it was pretty unfair um also on thursday i'm gonna be playing the uh second place light sword deck and let me just tell you guys man that's it's, 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 uh, that deck is i was doing some little bit of testing and um you probably you guys are probably in for a, a treat if it plays the way i was drawn in testing you, you guys are gonna have a treat but yeah that's it for today hope you guys did enjoy little uh <clears throat> my little discussion on hand traps in the zombie deck or the most expensive zombie deck or whatever you want to call it um yeah man this is is obviously what the deck needs because it adds another bit of defense that the deck does not have you have no way to once again stop our opponent's hand traps um if you're like me whenever you play solitaire you just get ashed gamma is your best friend so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the video um also leave your comments down below if you want me to do another like sort of like something like this what would you actually do like i said these would definitely go on the side deck and if you're still playing mistake i definitely will cut goblin zombie I and mean, you could just play 22 monsters you can fill the rest up with traps or up to your liking you can have more spells or you can have double pot of desires if you want to once again that's good in this deck because since you have gammas you're not afraid of ash so that's good and then side frame driver getting banished does not matter you also have burial and you also have omegas to put everything back so <clears throat> yeah this would be pretty much my changes i would take these four out and i would replace them with something but you guys let me know what you think of this or what would you replace it with and yeah that's it for today i hope you guys did enjoy it and i will see you guys tomorrow